Welcome back, everyone. Thank you so much for staying with us. Now let's begin with some developments in the polity. The federal government has ordered a manhunt for 109 inmates that escaped from the Sinajar Correctional Center. Residents of the neighborhood are also asking the government to relocate the facility to a sparsely populated area following the escape of 119 inmates. Sifon Essien reports. Construction is ongoing to rebuild portions of the facilities at the custodial center in Suleja, damaged by a Wednesday night downpour that paved the way for 119 inmates to escape. And if you look at the wall, it's an old wall anyway, but some of the media uh, work had been done on it. So the heavy wind pulled the wall. So that is why we have come here to quickly erect another one. If you see, this is, uh, this is our reinforcement. We are making uh, a very strong base for this side now. And it's, it's an emergency work. So the teams are here and all of us are, uh, are on the move to make sure that we can erect this as quickly as possible. It's the second major escape of inmates after a 2011 Boko Haram attack on the 110-year-old prison. The incident has caused fear among residents who are now asking the government to relocate the holding facility to a sparsely populated area. I did not experience something like this, but that yesterday night was very, very horrible because the way the prisoners are running hectares skater for looking for their escape, I think we couldn't sleep well. Most of us, we cannot sleep because of the high le uh, level of image that escape from the prison. You don't know where they will go and you don't know what will come after they are escaped. So really, we are disturbed yesterday. During a visit by the Minister of Interior, it emerged that the government may be considering relocating inmates in older prisons nationwide to newer facilities. So many you can look at the environment. It shows that we, we need to relocate a lot of our correctional um, centers uh, and um, uh, we need to relocate them away from city center. This was a facility that was built to house 250. Before the incident that happened, we had 499. This goes to what we keep talking about, about overcrowding in our correctional center. So this is, uh, as much as we, we'll, by the grace of God, I'm sure, I'm very optimistic, we'll solve this problem. Apart from the custodial center, several other houses affected by the heavy rain are being repaired. For the prison, the authorities believe that with the remedial work, the holding facility this time will stand the test of time. Remedial work is now ongoing at this facility and the wall will be rebuilt in no time according to the authorities of the custodial center who are optimistic that this time around the walls will stand the test of time and would not come down when there is a downpour. Sifon Essien, TVC News, Suleja.